And this is something really uh, quite profound that's happening, where we can remix this culture that's being thrown at us. We can take it, reappropriate it, and throw it back. And this is one of the most poetic statements of this. This is by um, Blim Visible. And you hear the Regina Spector lyrics there, where she says, even though our parts are slightly used. And then goes on and says, these are all clips from, uh, from different films. And she's saying, we're living in a den of thieves, rummaging for answers in the pages. It's a really powerful poetic statement because most of what we do is actually illegal. Any remixing is basically illegal. And I can talk more about the, the parameters of that. We have fair use laws that should protect it, but the simple act of ripping a DVD is actually illegal, which makes virtually everything we do illegal. So here we are in this, this state. Here's Lawrence Lessig talking about this. We need to recognize you can't kill the instinct the technology produces. We can only criminalize it. We can't stop our kids from using it. We can only drive it underground. We can't make our kids passive again. We can only make them, quote, pirates. And is that good? We live in this weird time, this kind of age of prohibitions, where in many areas of our life, we live life constantly against the law. Ordinary people live life against the law. And that's what I, we are doing to our kids. They live life knowing they live it against the law. That realization is extraordinarily corrupt, extraordinarily corrupting. And in a democracy, we ought to be able to do better. And the best part about this video here is by, uh, by uh, Lim or Blim Visible. Um, somebody commented, my God, are you doing that for a living? I never saw anything like this. You're an artist. She responds, nope, I'm a housewife. <laughs> and that's sort of the beauty of YouTube today.